Hey there YouTube, I'm Joe and you're watching Ink and Iron and I'm here today to do a quick video about a knife related product that I've never tried before. So I just ordered some EDCI. I've seen people talking about this for a couple of years now. This is apparently a rust protectant and um, sort of smudge preventative treatment that goes on your knife. Um, it says it's food safe, that it's totally non-toxic and that it's very easy to use. So uh, I'm eager to give it a try. I've been interacting with a lot more people, handling a lot more knives lately, and so uh, anything that kind of comes across my desk, I would like to make sure is protected and um, hopefully prevents it from getting all smudged up. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say my knives are getting smudged. And then uh, we'll actually try this formula on two of my knives. All right, welcome to the desk. And I just wanna say, as you can see by all the stickers that I got this EDCI formula from GP Knives. And the reason I'm plugging them is because I went to my normal retailer, Blade HQ, and they were actually out of this formula. It's not that I wouldn't have bought it from them, it's just that GP still had it in stock. So thank you, GP Knives. And uh, I'm just gonna keep one of your stickers on screen so things don't get too crowded. All right, so if you're like me, um, when you have a knife and you know maybe you're shooting a video about it, whatever, um, smudges can be an issue, right? You can kind of see some oily, streaky stuff going on. Um, yeah, you can see kind of some buildup on here. So normally what I would do is just take a, you know, microfiber polishing cloth and just kind of give it a wipe, you know, just like I refresh my phone screen if it gets too smudgy. And that does work. However, it doesn't prevent it from getting gunked up again. Unfortunately, my hands are really clean right now. There we go. I think you can see some smudging over here. Anyway, we are going to disassemble these two knives since they are nice and shiny and also kind of gunked up right now. And uh, we will see how badly they take fingerprints as our sort of baseline. Let's see if the EDCI will prevent that kind of thing from happening. I just have a T6 and T8 Torx driver here, a little Q-tip to uh, rub in the formula. It does say, you know, spray it on, rub it in, wipe it off. So I'm gonna rub it in with this, just so I can get all the little uh, corners inside the uh, knife pivot here. All right, we're gonna do a little time lapse to uh, get these knives disassembled. Okay, all cleaned up. And I'm just gonna kind of dust these off here. There we go. I'm trying for a nice clean finish before we put on this formula. Okay, I'm gonna try and grip it back here by the pivot just to uh, make my life easier. So I'm not smudging up the blade before I apply this treatment. Okay, um, probably wear gloves. I imagine this would be easier with gloves, but it's a safe formula, so I'm just gonna use it with my bare hands. Let's give it a little shake. Whoa, <laughs> okay, not exactly a spray. Huh, okay pretty watery. Just get it all rubbed in here. And this is a piece of vinyl that I'm working on top of. So yeah, I'm not, not worried about it getting messed up from any liquids. Mm -hmm. Get it in the pivot here. And uh, I don't think we'll have to spray any more. We'll just use our juice here for the cut jack as well. Rubbing it in. Get it in the pivot just to make sure we're not developing any rust. Though uh, I live in Colorado, so it's not a huge issue for me to begin with. Okay, and wipe it off. I just have another clean paper towel here. I'm 
happens there? Cool. Okay. This paper towel is not lint free. <laughs> lint free cloth was recommended, but uh, yeah, I don't don't exactly have too many of those. You know what? Let's just go with this. Use this for the LCK. There we go. Everything's looking good here. Felt something sharp. What was that? Oh, right here. It's where the uh, lock bar meets the tang of the blade. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's uh, just gonna wipe this up with that little alcohol cloth. And you could do your liners and all that kind of thing, but. I'm really just interested in the blades staying clean, so I'm just going to clean up these washers a little if they look dirty. Yeah, I think they're fine. Okay, let's uh, reassemble everything in another time lapse, and then we'll check out the smudge factor. Okay, and that is it. So, let's see what we got here. It took me a minute to get the pivots readjusted. And uh, it appears that this steel wheel logo kind of shredded up my paper towel a little bit, but it's not too much of a problem. Okay, looking at a nice even finish on here. There's a little bit of smudgy stuff, so let me wipe it with my finger and see what happens. You can still kind of see some printing on there. All right, but uh, let's see how easy does it wipe off. It is a little bit less annoying to wipe up the smudges. So yeah, ultimately this will help me. Um, I don't think I'll do a full disassembly every time unless I'm worried about a knife actually rusting on me. But uh, yeah, that does seem to speed up my blade cleanup, which will in turn speed up my videos. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, if you're looking for something to completely eliminate smudging, this isn't the product, but it does wipe up and clean up very easily. So yeah, pretty good stuff. And uh, if you're ever borrowing somebody's knife or doing maintenance on it, I could see this as a great sort of finishing product to put on there just to uh, Give it that little extra touch. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Been all about EDCI formula. And uh, thanks again to GP Knives for having this stuff in stock for me to buy. Okay. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. Feel free to sub to the channel if you want to see more from me. And I also have a Patreon if you want to check it out. And you guys know I do all kinds of stuff. Multi-tools, uh, fountain pens. A uh, bunch of EDC gear, so if you like that kind of thing, stick around. Anyway, that's enough for today. I've been Joe, and you've been watching Ink and Iron, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.